Self-righteous suicides I cry When angels deserve to Alright guys, I'm doing all those late night videos for my work But I want to, uh, I want to address these, I think, 17 to 21 year old Little, uh, SJW feminists, especially feminists Uh, and, and, you know these misguided youth, because the misguided youth in this country is basically they get their news from memes. Listen, you guys haven't even left college. The first time you've ever been by yourself was in a dorm room, okay? You are in a college that your parents are paying for, and you act like you're some sort of authority on so You ain't an authority on shit. You haven't lived shit. You haven't been through anything. You just don't know what it is to pay a fucking bill, okay? You just got your you got your credit cards that you swipe and swipe and swipe and swipe and swipe, and then what happens? Daddy gets the bill in the mail, mommy gets the bill in the mail, one or the other. Stop standing up in the middle when you hear it. When you hear something come from a teacher or a, a professor, and you and you don't like it, you stand up as if you're gonna like you're gonna do something. You're not gonna do nothing. You're not going to do nothing. Instead of swiping your father's credit card so many times, why don't you go to your father's fucking man cave, take out his knife, and sh okay? Because it's getting to the point where all I'm doing is watching these little kids act like they're authorities on shit. You're not an authority on nothing. You're really not. You, you, you think because you go to college, it, listen, I didn't even fucking graduate high school, and guess what? Because of how I work, I will make more money than you. And by the time you're done spending all your hard-earned money on your fucking, your, your college loans, okay, which the Democrats love, by the way, don't be fooled, by the time you're done spending all that money on your college loans, I will be so far ahead of you that you will never be able to catch up to me unless you're at the fucking lotto. One thing. Second thing is, I got so aggravated at the fact that I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to comprehend how, you know, you, you scream and you, you lose your minds on these people, on these uh, professors. And they're the ones who put the shit in your fucking head in the first place. Okay? They're the ones who put the shit in your head in the first place. I seen a... a, a you, you just call everything racism. You just call everything bullshit. You say, you're a white, you're a white male. Hey, you're man, a white man. male. Listen, I am a fucking white male. Okay? And some people are black males, and some people are brown males. But guess what? Whatever it is, it is, and we know who we are, okay? And I want to hit something else, something that was bothering me. The mansplaining shit, I mean, I don't even want to get into it, because every time a man says anything whatsoever, he's mansplaining now. It's another fucking, another fish hook you just put out there to try and catch people off guard, number one. Number two, manspreading. There was an example shown to me about man spreading, about when a man sits on his the train or he sits on the bus and he opens his legs. Now, contrary to what you might think, men sit like this because there's a dick and balls between our legs, you fucking assholes. The reason why we don't cross our legs like you do is because I don't want to crush my balls. I want to be comfortable. So guess what? Don't come after us because we sit a certain way, because we're men. Why don't you go after the fucking MTA or the Port Authority? Say, hey guys, can we make some more seats? Maybe have, not more seats, but can you make them a little bit wider? Because, you know, people are spreading their legs too much. But no, it's the man's fault. It's always the man's fault, especially the white man. We're sick and tired of shit constantly. You're going to have somebody legitimately fucking just, just they, people are going to lose it. People are going to lose it. Similar to how the Bernie Sanders supporter was, they just started shooting at a fucking baseball field. Probably the first time he ever walked onto a baseball field, the fucking homo. Because I, to be honest with you, I expected to see some young fucking SJW and fucking Antifa punk doing it, but, but it was an older man. It was an older man who had a very good job, but was brainwashed by the bullshit that you all spew out. I'm gonna end this video here. Why don't they get trust?
you're suicidal.